Hey guys, so today I wanted to show you how to blur an iMovie. Now I'm doing two different ways. One is to blur license plates and people's faces and the second is to just blur the whole entire video. So depending on which one you want to see, click on the annotations now linked and it should take you to the right time. If you would like to see both, just keep watching through. I will be doing it in the order of one and then two. Okay, for this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to blur someone's face in iMovie. We are going to be blurring this man's face right here. So the first thing you want to do is take a screenshot, which is Command Shift 4. I've already done this, however, but it will automatically save to your desktop. Next, go to PicMonkey.com and click Edit. You're going to want to open up this and go to this effects bar and then scroll down until you see focal pixelate. This is an area. Click the focal pixelate. As you can see, it's already pixelated, but I'm gonna turn this down just so that his face is a little bit more unrecognizable. You want to change the focal size to zero and then change edge hardness to zero as well. Now you're going to want to move this up into the corner so that you can't see any of his face. Press apply and then save this to your desktop or wherever else you would find it easiest to access. So once you're in iMovie, you want to import the picture of the now blurry face, so to say. Once this is imported into your library, you are going to want to select it and drag it into the area you want to blur someone's face. Now you want to click this button and put fit instead of Ken burn and then change it from cutaway to picture in picture. You're going to want it to have no dissolve so that it appears right away. If not, you won't be able to see it. So what you want to do is select this and then drag it to the very beginning and move it over the man's face. Now what you want to do is click this little triangle button which is where you can add a keyframe at the playhead. So if you click this and then move your cursor just by clicking the arrow button you can then move this down to match the man's face. You want to do this continuously as the man moves so that you're not able to see who he is. Now when you play it through, it moves with him as he moves. Now of course, if you want this to be a little bit more specific, you can and blur out edges and everything, but I was just doing this very roughly. Now if you want to blur a whole entire segment of video, not just someone's face, what you can do is go to titles and click pull focus. You're going to want to drag this above your clip and then delete the title. Now you can see that it pulls the focus in and blurs the clip for where this purple bar is. Of course you can add more or less depending on how much of it you want it to be blurred. If you would like it to be blurred the full way through, you might want to start the blur a little bit before the actual clip. If you wanted a message like this to be displayed, you would unfortunately not be able to just simply put it in because then it too would just be blurred. So what you would have to do is export the footage and then go back in and add in the clip that you want above. So. That is the only downside to this, but overall I think it's a great system because it really does what it needs to do in blurring it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please do share the video and give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next week. First, second, and third. The music.